wasn't that amazing in last week's diary where, you know, when I gave that prophetic word for 2018, a rise and shine, and all that happened straight after that. If you haven't seen the video, go back and watch it. I think it's video diary number four, I think. Anyway, on to this week's video diary. Um, I thought you might be interested to hear from some of my friends and as to what they are sensing God is saying for 2018. So coming up, we've got Lance Wall now. You may have heard of him. We've got Christina Four and we've got Michael Fickus. So let's start with Christina Four. She's a good friend of ours. She's been over to Chester, I think maybe certainly twice, maybe three times. And she's spoken at our church and we were running a church here and she's spoken at one of our workshops. <clears throat> and she's highly gifted prophetically. She heads up a church, I believe, in Pennsylvania. Um, so listen to what she has to say because she, every time I've heard her prophesy, she's been spot on. She's given us such good prophetic words that have come to pass. So here's Christina Four. Well, back in December, the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night and this is what he said. 2018 is the year of no more living in between. And as I pondered that, what he showed me was that the word in between means to be between two extremes. And I felt like people are stuck. They're stuck in chapters. They're stuck in seasons. So that God is going to bring people out of those places where they've been stuck. And he's going to position us where we need to be in this season. Another strong word he gave me was out of Isaiah 54, 2 and 3. And he said it's going to be a, a year of enlargement of borders and influence a year to take new territory. And a, enlargement means expansion and growth. So God's going to expand our borders and our influence and push back the limitations that have held us back from possessing what he promised we would possess. He's expanding our influence with others so that we're able to take new ground and territory. And the voice translation of Isaiah 54, 2, 3 is so powerful. It says this, enlarge your house. You're going to need a bigger place. Don't underestimate the amount of room you'll need. So build, build, build. You will increase in every direction. And I believe that is very prophetic for this season and that people need to be fearless in this year and not be afraid to step out and take risk because it is a time to build, build, build. It will be a year of new levels and new realms in the spirit. So as a body, corporately, and then individually, we're going to begin to, to experience realms of the glory of God and encounter him in ways we never have before. And I believe that's going to apply individually, but even more so corporately. As we're coming together, expect the unexpected. God's going to do new things in this season. There is new levels and realms of the glory he wants to open up to us. And we need to be looking for it and we need to be expecting it. He also said it's going to be a year of assignment and alignment. And so it's going to be a time of positioning. And it's also going to be a time where God is going to cause us to our position is our assignment, but our alignment is also about positioning. So it's about positioning our position. And this is something that we're seeing lots and lots of changes this year. A lot of movement, a lot of changes. God's going to be repositioning people. He also said it will be a time of celebration. So we're going to see things begin to speed up and things are going to happen in a much shorter amount of time. And I was listening to Chuck Pierce and some other ones the other night, and they were saying the very same thing. We're going to see a celebration. We're going to start accomplishing months where in the past it would have taken years. Now it's going to take months. And then one other thing he said was, a year of financial breakthrough and increase. And so God is going to give strategies to his people that's going to help us get out of debt and release us into greater financial flow. And purposes and plans that have been held back because of finances in the past are going to be released to God's people. So I'm looking forward to what God's going to do. I think it's going to be a great year. It's going to be your harvest. We're going to see seeds come up. We're going to see fruit come up, things that we planted years ago things are going to start coming into manifestation and he also said it's going to be a year the prodigals are coming home so we're going to see a lot of the lost sons and daughters begin to come back in their into the kingdom and begin to be positioned 
and it's going to prepare us then for the harvest of the loss that's going to begin to come in. Okay, so that was good, wasn't it? Now, next up, we've got Michael Fickus. We got to know Michael um, just in the last, within the last year, but he's he's written some remarkable prophetic books. Um, if you haven't already read his books, do look out for them. I've read all of them so far, I think. He's written quite a few in the last couple of years, and um, I love reading them. You get a lot out of them. Anyway, here's Michael with some of the things that God's been showing him that are coming up for this next season. In this trance, I was told clearly by the Lord that he was taking me to the tomb of the unknown soldier. And um, The tomb here, of the unknown soldier. in the uh, U.S., that's a very specific place in Washington, D.C. So I thought he was going to take me there. Um, but that's not where he took me. He took me into this vast, deep, dark uh, cavern in the depths of the earth. And there were prisoners bound, chained, imprisoned, and in total darkness in that chasm. And um, there was, in this trance, a crack in this high ceiling, high up above where the prisoners were chained. And it started to let just a little light in. And as they looked up to see the light, um, the chains broke off their hands first. And then they could look up with their faces, they could lift their hands, and the light started to increase. And then their feet uh, were freed. And then something remarkable happened. The entire ceiling of this dark cavern that kept people in prison, the whole ceiling fell off. And the full bright light of dawn shone into this place. And then the people were clothed in, in light from head to toe. And they went out throughout the earth like kings and queens, just clothed in the full light of God. Now, as I was watching this, um, I knew that there were three specific groups of people that were symbolized in this trance and that there were religious people who were bound with chains of legalism and tradition that uh, had a form of godliness but didn't really know the Father. And there was a group of people that were completely unchurched who didn't know anything about the Lord. And then I was, I was most surprised by the third group, which was people that had been in uh, some really intense kinds of spiritual darkness, you know, witches and warlocks and folks that have really been going after darkness intentionally. And that they were also eager to come into the light. Um, I saw three massive ships and as soon as i saw them i knew they were called warships and warships yeah <laughs> and um they were suspended like at a 45 degree angle between heaven and earth and they were ascending towards heaven and these ships were so vast i mean uh they they each fit a whole nation i think wow a whole nation worth That's of people big. and they were vast and it, it's hard to describe it, but as I saw these ships, I started to weep and weep because I could see the people. Mm -hmm. And each ship had this massive beacon of light at the helm. And the light was bathing the people in waves of revelation, and they were ascending together. But it was almost like they were frozen in time because what this represented was corporate revelation coming to the body of Christ. We're used to hearing from a prophet who we know hears from the Lord and we trust. And so we'll kind of use that as our guidance uh, to help yeah. guide us where we're going. But what I was glimpsing with these ships is a movement where mass bodies of people, mass groups of people are ascending to heaven together, are encountering the Father together, are having heavenly experiences together. And I'm convinced in the next move of God, that we have barely begun to taste the fulfillment of Joel chapter two, that the spirit's going to be poured out on all mm -hmm. flesh. There is such a maturity coming to the prophetic movement um, as the body of Christ all ascends together in worship and in revelation, there's going to be a maturity where they actually start to become this holy city, this crystalline bride described yeah. in revelation 21 that has such a revelation of heaven that even in a time when earth is being shaken and the man's systems are being shaken, that they have a light 
and an authority and a power and a level of love that totally disrupts um, the patterns around them. Just that the last two weeks, I've had recurring, very strong recurring dreams of the light of God coming as a bright, bright white light. And so yeah. in both of the trances I shared, both those trances involve really multi-decade moves of God that are, have already begun. Most people haven't noticed yet because often the move of God begins in a subterranean way, like a well <laughs> under the ground. Yeah. And it kind of builds up and it starts as a seeker's revival, people praying. Then it breaks up out of the ground. And yeah. um, I think we're coming real close to where this move of God that's been a seeker's revival hidden away yeah. is going to start to break out and create pools in places. And then those pools are going to become rivers. And then we're going to see that rising tide coming. It's funny because I saw something for this year about things that are hidden are coming out into the light. But, you know, it's not just things done in kind of darkness and secret in a bad way, but that things that, that God's remained hidden and people that have been hidden, he's really um, lifting them up now. That definitely is happening. The light of God is coming. The spirit of God is coming in new waves and in new ways. But, you know, like the dove sent out from the ark, he's looking for a resting place. The eyes of the Lord are looking to and fro throughout the earth, looking for a people whose hearts are committed to him. So the way we can respond to this is just giving ourselves to the Lord daily, welcoming his presence and learning to tune in what the Holy Spirit's doing and shut out distractions. Now, next we've got Lance Wool now. He's a good friend of ours. We got to know him as he came to Chester a couple of years ago. Um, we've seen him at different places and just recently he was in Chester again and I took the opportunity to get my um, my phone out and just do some quick video as we were walking down the street with him. You will cover your ears with the shawl. Okay, so here we are with Lance, we're now in Chester. Yes we are, this is not the scenic part of Chester, there. No. it's much more scenic back there when we were talking about the next year. Yes, so what, Lance, what do you see happening 2018? All right, 2018, as you know, it's the Hebrew year 5778. And I got introduced to this whole Hebrew year, I think when I was in Jerusalem last year, when the Lord said that the 777, or Zan, 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 is the symbol for swords. And uh, it's the year of the clashing of swords. Now the eight, Chet, that new word that comes up for the, the number eight indicates a door and a gate that is open. So what you have now is the year of the continued clashing of swords, personified by somebody like we're seeing like Donald Trump and the media battle in the United States. However, there's a new door opening and that new door is a door of utterance. Catch this, a door of utterance. God is opening for his people a door of inspired utterance. And if you'll pray the prayers God wants you to pray and prophesy the things he wants you to say, and you communicate the message God's put in your mouth, then the word of the Lord out of your mouth is gonna open doors of access to you. And I'll tell you this, there are enemies, <laughs> enemies at the gates. There are enemies at the gates, as you can tell. But don't let the enemies distract you because your utterance is going to open a path for you. Angels are going to go on, and this is in hype. Angels are assigned to accommodate the prophetic words that God is speaking and the prayers that God's people are praying. Because God has business he's doing in the nations. You guys know I'm big on the seven mountains. This is the year for many of you to have new doors open with authority in government, business, uh, media, and it doesn't matter who doesn't want you. You will be sitting, what does the Bible say? That um, God is going to cause you to uh, rule in the midst of your enemies. So it doesn't mean they're going to be gone. It means they won't be able to stop you. That's the word for this year. That's great. Thank you. We're excited for this year. And as you may have heard me say, the Lord's told us just to go for it and to really to go on the road and to reach as many people as possible. So in the next within the next week we're going to be in the states and we're very excited about uh, Florida we're going to near Tampa we're going to be there so come and see us 
and we're also going to be in North Carolina and South Carolina so do check out my website alicecreswell.com for my itinerary I would love to see you there and then in March back in the UK again so come and see us um, we should be coming somewhere near you hopefully soon